Well, and the gentleman from Texas, Mr. McCall, each will control 20 minutes. The chair now recognizes the gentleman from New York. I ask unanimous consent that all members of five legislative days to revise and extend their remarks and include extraneous material on H.R. 115 under consideration. That objection is so ordered. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I yield myself as much time as I may consume. The gentleman from New York is recognized. Before I, uh, I talk about the bill, I want to very uh, briefly um, acknowledge the fact that uh, this is the first uh, debate uh, we have uh, with bills from the Foreign Affairs Committee uh, since the new Congress. I want to welcome Mr. McCall as um, the um, very uh, important position which I had for the past uh, six years, ranking member, and uh, know that as a chairman, uh, the the Foreign Affairs Committee for the past six years has had a record of being the most bipartisan committee in the Congress. And um, I hope and I know that that will continue uh, to this Congress and that the respect that all members have uh, shown each other uh, will continue as a tradition of the Foreign Affairs Committee. And I look forward uh, to working with Mr. McCall in that regard. Uh, I rise in support of H.R. 115, the Protecting Diplomats from Surveillance Through Consumer Devices Act. I want to thank Mr. Castro for introducing this legislation. And before I get into the merits of this particular bill, which is designed to protect diplomats from cyber snooping, I'd be remiss if I failed to express my deep concern that thousands of Department of State employees and diplomats are furloughed without pay. I'm hearing stories of State Department officials struggling to make ends meet, taking upside jobs, and having garage sales to stay afloat. By keeping America's diplomats away from their jobs, we're harming our national security. We need to end the shutdown, and we need to end it now. Now I'll turn to the excellent bill before us today. This measure aims to ensure the Department of State has policies in place to help prevent our adversaries from tracking the locations of our Foreign Service offices, officers through their electronic devices. From Fitbits and smart watches to phones and cars, most of us have at least one tracking device with us at all times. Many of us would literally be lost without these devices, but they pose security risks as well. This common sense measure would make sure the Secretary of State has a policy in place on using location tracking consumer devices at our diplomatic and consular facilities around the world. This is a good bill that passed the House unanimously in the last Congress, and I urge my colleagues to support its passage again today. I reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman from New York reserves. The gentleman from Texas is recognized.